Hey there, thanks for coming to check out Abundant Source Raw. And in this video, I'd like you to imagine that right now it is at least 350 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit outside. And I'm sorry, I don't know what that is in Celsius, but um, you can look that up. 350 to 450 degrees Fahrenheit outside. What do you think would happen to you, to life, to the planet, to any material, metal, rock? What do you think would happen if it was 450 degrees outside? What would happen to the earth, to everything living on it? Do you think that these, uh, these materials and their molecular structure would just stay the same? That they would go unchanged and that there would be no consequences for it being that hot because what would really happen is I mean <laughs> all life on the planet most likely would be destroyed all water would at some point become evaporated uh, there would be no water to support life it would be too hot it would just become a barren wasteland uh, of burnt rock and different materials that may be able to survive the heat but uh, in no way could support life. All enzymes, all the, uh, the living biophotons, all vitamins and minerals would become mutilated. Their structure would completely change. All grass and trees and forests on the planet would burn and uh, become dead matter. And there would be nothing here on earth that could support life and you should understand that we are living organisms and we need the living factors and the living energies from our food to be able to support our system properly we need living enzymes we need living bacteria we need vitamins and minerals mixed with the living proteins and, and the living enzymes to be able to support our living system, our bodies. And so if you can imagine what it would be like on Earth and uh, what that would look like if it was 450 degrees outside, then you can kind of imagine the same thing happening to your food when you cook it. When you're cooking your food, you're doing the exact same thing. You're destroying all life-bearing properties. Uh, you are completely dehydrating it, evaporating all water for the most part. Um, the structure, the material, the molecular makeup of your food is completely destroyed or changed, mutilated in some way, and is not the way that nature provided it for us, uh, for it to you know, be a reliable source of energy and of nutrients for our body. All, all the nutrients pretty much have been completely changed, almost all vitamins have been destroyed or altered. Same with the minerals. You've killed all the enzymes that support uh, the living body and help to uh, create different chemical reactions and, and different uh, functions. You've destroyed the beneficial bacteria that's found in the food and all biological functions of that food, all biological properties of that food are now completely destroyed because you've heated it to a point that cannot support life and so if you've got something now that has no potential to support life then why do you think that consuming it is going to help support your living body there's no way it is now rotten it's completely defiled and it's completely out of uh, the way that nature had provided it for us and so now it can only really uh, do the same thing to your body it can only rot your body um, you know uh, Jesus said uh, if you if you cook freeze and rot your food then they will cook freeze and rot your body cooking only destroys life uh, it can never really support it you've got to have the the food that nature provides for us it's the only food that we can eat that will completely support and uh let us thrive 
uh, on those foods. Only foods found as they are in nature are going to be able to provide us with the living enzymes and biophotons and uh, all the natural nutrients and minerals and the ratios that they're supposed to be in for our body. Food altered in any way is going to be unnatural and will not be able to support us as well as if you just found it in nature the way that it was perfectly provided for us. When humans started cooking their food, then that's when we started to fall from grace and fall out of nature. Um, and that's when we started becoming sick, um, you know, physically and mentally, and we lost our connectivity with all the rest of life for the most part. It's when all diseases started to happen, is when we started cooking our food and we went against nature and uh, natural and universal law. And so if you really want to get back uh, to being the best that you can be, to being um, the highest version of yourself, and to never have to worry about getting sick again or feeling discomfort and pain, then you've got to get back into the laws of nature. You've just got to realign yourself with uh, nature and that's just what's going to bring you the most joy and bliss in your life and make you feel incredible, give you tons of energy that you've never felt before, tons of mental clarity. Uh, just it'll make you feel in a way that you've never felt before. It's the most amazing thing you can possibly do for yourself is to eat natural raw foods, uh, especially fruit. Fruit is the purest and highest vibrational food on the planet and uh, you are an anthropoid and you are a frugivore and that is our natural food source is mostly fruit. So stop cooking your food, it completely destroys it and turns it toxic to the body and will totally rot your body and make you stink and uh, do all sorts of terrible things to your body that you don't want. So start eating more raw foods, especially fruit, uh, high, high water content, juicy fruit and uh, you're gonna feel so much better, so much lighter, have so much more clarity of mind and uh, a pure body, and you're just gonna feel amazing. So that's gonna be it for this video. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll talk with you in the next one.